the seeds of an ambitious dream to build a bridge across this expansive channel had been sown. This was 40 years ago. The Miyako Islands are a group of eight islands of various sizes around 300 kilometers southwest of the main island of Okinawa. To the west of Miyako Island is Irabu Island, which has an area of 29 square kilometers and a population of around 5,400. When the weather is bad, all water travel stops, including not only the regular liners that people rely on, but even fishing boats as well. The island becomes completely isolated. Irabu Ohashi Bridge spans approximately 4,300 meters of water. It consists of a 3,540 meter long bridge and 770 meters of overseas road. The project included roughly 2,300 meters of road improvement on both islands for a total length of 6,500 meters. Stones gathered for the construction of the overseas road were washed to avoid dirtying the ocean waters. A double layer of silt barriers was used when placing the stones into the water. Building the substructure consists of driving steel pipe piles and then steel sheet piling around them. Within the border of the steel sheet piles, timber supports maintain the structure while water and dirt are removed. Cathodic protection is applied and the footing and column are built. Once the column is finished, the steel sheet pile enclosure is removed and the bridge pier is complete. Turbid water produced during construction is cleaned using water treatment equipment before being released back into the ocean. Every effort was made to ensure environment-friendly construction. For the first time in Okinawa, ash produced by burning coal, known as fly ash, was added to concrete. This protects the rebar inside of concrete piers from the salt in the ocean water. The goal was to build durable bridge piers that could last 100 years or more. Rebar for the column is arranged on top of the completed footing. The rebar is coated with epoxy resin, which makes it resistant to salt damage. After the rebar is arranged, a concrete form is placed around it and the concrete is poured. All of the bridge piers are completed. Construction immediately moved on to building the superstructure. The superstructure would be built using a precast segment method. Segments would be brought in and linked on site one after another. Segments would be erected using a truss girder placed on top of a bridge pier. Segments are lifted up and then hung from the center and extending outward while maintaining balance. After the segments are positioned, cables are inserted and concrete is placed to complete a section. Then the girder is moved and the process repeats. The bridge girders would be erected in three distinct sections. Large blocks of factory fabricated girder would be transported by sea and erected using a floating crane. First the Irabu side, next the Miyako side. 
and finally the main center section would be erected. On April 16, 2013, this final stage of the erection began. Once the main girder was fixed at the center, the bridge spanning the ocean route would be complete. The operation went without a hitch. The erection of bridge girder was complete. Careful consideration was given to the environmental impact. Tiny stairways for small animals were placed along the roadside, and passageways were built beneath the road. Jetties were also built. Along with auxiliary bridges, these helped halt the outflow of sand. Sea turtles now had a place to lay their eggs. Three families, each spanning three generations, lead a crowd of people as they cross the bridge for the first time. Taking time to cherish the historic moment, the crowds crossed over step by step toward Irabu Island. The successful opening of the Irabu Ohashi Bridge laid a firm foundation for the development of the Miyako region.